my friends to another Sumi Shaves video with me on a beautiful morning. Hashtag Team All Blade and hashtag No Blade Left Behind. I am thrilled to have you here. Thank you so much for clicking into our shave review and for joining us. Hopefully, wherever you're tuning in from in the world, you've got yourself something cold in your hand and you're sitting in a comfy chair. Will it on in? Get comfortable. Let's do a shave. I'm thrilled to have you here. Whether you're a brand new user to the channel or one that's coming back for more, I just want to express my thanks and my appreciation for your channel patriotage and support. It's because of everybody following and you know really in engaging in the content that we're able to use this today. Take a look. Woo, this is the Yachi Ultimate. Our hands are on it. We've got it. This is a fully stainless steel CNC razor that is adjustable using that Gibbs style mechanic from the Yachi group. Oh my goodness, is it beautiful? Take a look. I spent an entire day just photographing this thing. It's so aesthetically beautiful. It's photogenic. It just screams. I am the centerpiece of the den. I love this. I saw it the moment I opened it. I thought to myself, they have done it. They really have outdone themselves this time. Their, their, their masterpiece has concluded. It is absolutely incredible. And I do not mean to like, you know, send this to the moon and back, but I am telling you, I really, really love the razor. It's got all these just little things figured out and, and tweaked from the other two variations, right? You had the final cut, which is this razor right here. There was a Z-Mac and brass um, kind of combo razor. Uh, this razor is incredible. It's very nice, very, very good shaver. But for me, it was a little bit mild. Then they went up to the brass variation, right? The big boy, because they did two different variants, one with a short handle, one with a long handle. Uh, this is the second generation of that razor. Uh, 112 grams versus the Z-Mac brass was 89 to this, which is 100 grams. We're gonna talk a bunch about it. I wanna dig into it. I'm really, really excited to have this in the den. Huge thanks and shout out goes to Grace and her beautiful team for including us in the release and in the, the shaving experience. I am just absolutely thrilled to be part of their journey. And I just cannot believe how good that journey has gotten, right? Starting from what we did with the Z-Mac Mac stuff all the way to now, I am absolutely just blown away that the cast uh, um, razors have turned into this, which is CNC'd, I mean, polished, perfected. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm thrilled. Thank you again for being here today. If you can't tell, I'm super excited about this. We're going to be using Future Fiction from Phoenix Artisan Accoutrement. You can see here, Future Fiction. One of my favorite scents. It just smells modern to me. It smells very um, energetic. I really like this. I'll have the loading uh, video going with how I did my lather today, but it always just works up such a nice lather for me. It smells fantastic. And we did do that already in this Phoenix Artisan Accoutrement. Um, this is their uh, Dreamscape Scuttle. Take a look. The lather today on point. Absolutely smells incredible. And we used our um, Yachi, um, this is their professional series. It's the Twist or the Hurricane or the Tornado, I can't remember now. And it's in the 24 mil um, size. It's a synthetic knot. And I'm telling you, I just get along so well with this beautiful, beautiful brush from the Yashi team. We're gonna throw in a little more lather here, just so you can see it is not dairy product and we are not messing around. Today, we've got four days of growth and you heard that right, four days of stubble. It has been just growing out on me and the reason why is I've been waiting to use the Yachi Razor. Since the moment I saw that it was coming to my house, I am thrilled. I've been just so excited to get out of shape with this. And so I did, I came, I did some filming, I, I kind of you know, did some comparisons, but I haven't actually used it till today on the face. And on the face, I am telling you, I thought I was gonna have nicks, I thought I was gonna have cuts, because you can fill the blade to it but it shaves so smooth. It's like they went up like three rungs on aggressive level for me um, compared to this razor. They have really just, I mean, the, the tolerances on the differences between the brass and the stainless, they're marginal, but I feel like the stainless does have better tolerances. Call me crazy, I don't know if it's easier for them to produce, but it's also had all these edges and, and um, kind of the things about the, the, the satin variation of the brass kind of removed as they've gone through polished and you know really put it at its presentation level they have gone in and made it just it 
it just fits in the fit and finish really is nice i'm just i can't stress that enough i really am impressed it's 140 dollars like i said 99 ish or 100 gram razor that just absolutely slaps fully stainless steel this right here is cnc'd now i do want to call out the springs between the two of them i'll have photos going here but they're not different they're the exact same so when i sat them out i was doing some comparisons to the rex they were different from the rex obviously engage i'll have i'll have some photos but the between the brass um this version right here and this version there's no difference in the spring so i still believe that the um razor emporium spring is going to be better longer lasting it's a thicker gauge and you can purchase those separately just directly from them i'm still going to do that i i mentioned that in a couple of videos every time i use one of these razors from yachi i do upgrade the spring just because it makes it so that the head has zero wobble to it other than that one nitpick i am telling you i think it's as good if not equal to some of its rivals in the market i will not use names here but i really really like this a lot at least on the shave I got on my face. It is nice. It's not quite as aggressive as the Rex Ambassador. I want to get some spice in. Let's do it. I, I, I wanted to get um, the, the Rex Ambassador out now that I have, I've used this and compare it because I am telling you, wow. I just, I cannot believe this is four days. Four days. We're mowing it off. This, right here, this is called a haircut. This is no longer a shave. This is a haircut and it is taking it down. I really was like, you know, the final cut, the first, the third, the, the um, very final uh, ver, um, version of this razor from Yachi, I don't think would do this good of a shave. I don't even think it could handle this kind of shave versus with the Derby um, Premium Blacks loaded up. Oh, talk about a leprechaun kind of bowl. This is a bowl of the good stuff right here. Jelly cream filled donut good stuff. I am telling you right now. I think that is a, a, a spoonful of malls. Spoonful of malls. That is an underneath the rainbow pot of gold kind of shape. You can see my scalp just all of a sudden become nice, shiny, and smooth. My skin loves that. That is, that's great. That is gravy. The handle. Can we talk a little bit about the handle? I've heard a lot of people mention, oh, I think it's too slippery. I'm having problems. I thought I was going to have issues too. I'm not having any issues. I did wipe my hand across a little bit of alum, a tiny bit of alum. But I'm not having any problems maintaining grip at all. I really like this. There is no um, no coating on this razor like there is the brass. And so I feel like drag is slightly reduced, if not completely eliminated. This is lovely. This is fantastic. We are in for a shaving treat. Oh, this is awesome. Huge shout out again goes to Yachi and to the team of Yachi for putting this out there. Holy cow, Grace may, making this a uh, possibility. I just can't say thank you enough. I am shocked. I am really impressed. Coming from, you know, you, an owner of uh, the Gibbs series 15 and 17, I, I'm not a, like, you know, a, may, I'm not a, I can't call myself an envious collector. I don't have, you know, 20 million of them. I don't buy everyone that comes out, right, that I've seen on eBay. But I really love that style razor where the, the, the spring and the internal mechanism lifts that center piece or center plate up. I really love that. And this is a fantastic tribute, if not, I mean, a, a complete modernization of, of modern interpretation and uh, recreation of that razor. The famous legendary, you know, the wow, that vintage um, Gibbs from France, man, this right here, I think. I think they outdid themselves, honestly. Wow, what a smooth driving, easy going. Oh my goodness. Like it, like that a lot. It is just really smooth compared to the other variations. Now the other variations are cheaper, right? So you got like the final cut that is like 30 bucks. Then the brass one right now, it's on sale for a hundred. This is gonna be sitting at 140, but for $140. And keep in mind, on the market currently, what the um, competition is, right? What the competition looks like and the prices, right? The prices, man, that's so smooth. Um, compared to the competition, right? I think this is not only cheaper, it is a better quality material, right? The pearl's still like a hundred bucks. Really close to a hundred dollars when you're all said and done with it. This is fully CNC'd, stainless steel, right? That's a, that's a no brainer. That is a no brainer for the cost difference. And I think that the fit and finish on this is way, way, way better. Oh, wow. I mean, it, it does have a little bit of blade fill maxed out. So we are riding the razor on six. 
but it's so forgiving and smooth. I really thought I was going to get in here and it was going to, you know, kind of struggle to get down the stubble and that we we're going to have to fight the shave. This gave me like what I would expect out of my Rex Ambassador at the same, you know, um, setting. But for half the blade fill, half the blade fill and the same smoothness. This is wild. Very, very comfortable. I mean, you you're, you're guys are doing this with me for the first time. So you'll see everything I'm seeing, right? I have not used the razor before today. I can attest to that. That is something, you know, I was going into this completely blind. Didn't even do a uh, test swipe because I really wanted to see. I mean, this is the ultimate, right? This is their ultimate. This is <laughs> this is their end be all kind of uh, razor. So I wanted to really see for myself. Worth it. Absolutely awesome. <laughs> Freaking fantastic. My head. <laughs> it's really, really good. That is awesome. Huge shout out to Yachi for knocking out a tribute razor for the um, original tribute or the original Gibbs. When you stack these two side by side, you can see there's quite a few differences, right? The Gibbs, this, this is a original traditional from France, right, of the period. This is a Gibbs razor um, and then stacked up next to the Ultima. I don't know. I think I like the fit, fill, and finish of the uh, Ultima just as much in my hand. I really really get along with that thing that thing is awesome considering that i i mean i really thought we we're gonna have to fight through the shave and that it was gonna be a you know kind of laborious thing going through that much stubble but that first pass was wild perfect absolutely slick tastic subi nonsense going on there that is awesome huge huge shout out man that is so cool because for a lot of years, I have wanted to see a tribute razor done right, a tribute razor done right. I've wanted to see somebody come out and just knock and, ma and, and smash out a perfect Gibbs, you know, tribute. That thing is so darn close. I really, really like that. If you're a brass owner and you're sitting to yourself and you're saying, well, Subi, is it worth getting both? My opinion, totally worth getting both. I like the different length. For me, the handle length is different, right? Because I have the V2 brass. I like the shorter handle. The shorter handle is just a little bit more similar, right, to the traditional. And I just really like that. When you look at their final cut, you can see I even use a, uh, a shorter handle on my final cut. It matches like this one, which is like the traditional Gibbs. When you stack them side by side, you're still getting a longer handle on the Yachty side. But I like the way this fills and balances in my hand a lot better than this one. I can tell you that the original Gibbs did not balance nearly as well as this Yachty does. It balances so good. When you compare it to the brass, now the brass, I just, I love the fit, hand feel of this. Fits and feels so good in my hand. But when you stack them side by side, I just like the fit and feel of this razor's smaller handle. Feels more close to the original to me. I do think people are going to complain about this. I've already heard it happening about this being not grippy enough. For me, I don't really have a problem. I, I, I really, you saw, I did my whole head. I, usually I complain, I'm like, oh, this is slippery. This one, I really feel it was that bad. I mean, it's marginal, right? It's definitely a marginal, but something about that polished finish really lets you grip it. It lets your fingers get a hold of it. No, without problems. I really like this shave. I can tell you that much. I'm going to be talking about this for a week. This was phenomenal. It was so enjoyable. It's a razor I want to um, do some battles with because there are a lot of competitors at that price range that are producing uh, an adjustable razor, right? There's a lot of Gibbs inspired uh, modern razors that kind of mimic the Gibbs but do it in their own unique way, right? Most of them are either more efficient or a little heavier. This to me is almost like they were like, okay, well, what if we just kind of try to do it, you know, as is. Similar to the Heritage Razor, but I really like the, the way that this assembles. Again, the, the spring and the mechanism, in my opinion, is definitely a little weak for, a little light for the material type, right? Maybe not weak, but light for the material type, especially because you're getting all the additional heft. So it does make the spring feel nice and smooth, but when you're shaving, you you can actually see that base plate kind of adjusting a little bit and kind of wobble just a little bit. But if you switch it to a, a Rex Ambassador one, that is as premium, in my opinion, as anything out there that's being sold on the market in the Gibbs adjustable style um, format. And in my opinion, it really shaved absolutely fantastic. You saw it do it. You saw it get it down. And you saw 
we didn't have a ton of problems at all. We got a little more splash. Yeah, that splash smells amazing. Thank you again for joining me for this. And huge shout out and thanks again to Yachi for doing it and doing it right. Finally, someone knocked it out of the park. And I'm thrilled to say we have one. We're using it. We're going to be using it quite a bit more. Thank you so much for joining me. And if you haven't already, click that sub button. Hit the comment button. Let's chat below. And until I see you guys then, soon. Ow.